What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. Peers, you do know that I am in absolute awe on the phenomenal genius of Murray Rothbard. So much that I dedicated an entire show, Read Rothbard, Use Bitcoin, to this phenomenal man, as well as my thesis on anarchy and money. Uh, but the question is, why? Well, Rothbard has laid out the fundamental groundwork of the economics and monetary theory of Bitcoin in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, with all his amazing uh, work that he has done in order to advance the theory of freedom in economics, Austrian economics. And uh, because don't trust, verify, we are actually well, going to read one of his uh, really short but breathtakingly beautiful books. And that is What Has Government Done to Our Money? A book written in 1963, right? So this is nothing new uh, by Murray Newton Rothbard. And the beautiful thing about the Mises Institute, uh, Institute for Austrian Economics, Freedom and Peace, uh, is that you can get the PDF document and the audiobook for free. Okay, and Jeff Riggenbach is a much better reader uh, than I am, so definitely check that out as well. And because there is already an audiobook, uh, what we will do in this series specifically over the next couple uh, days is we are going to read this book, but not in the eyes of Rothbard in the 1963s, but actually in the eyes of Satoshi, and now that we have Bitcoin. And we will replace all the terms that account for, for gold terms and just slap Bitcoin on top and see if his case still holds up. And oh my, does it still. So I suggest to you highly to read this book first or listen to the audiobook uh, in its original way it was intended in the beautiful writings of Rothbard himself. Jolly fellow, he really is. Uh, but we will here talk about this phenomenal book really 100% from the eyes of a Bitcoin. Uh, and I will not change any of the structure but just change some of the words. And I have done so uh, for myself and it helped me a lot in understanding the value of Bitcoin. And I hope that this will under help you in your understanding as well. So what has government done to our money? It's created a weak shitcoin. It has created fiat, paper money that you're being forced to use. Well, I don't like shitcoins. Let's talk about sound money. And how, how does Rothbard um, uh, use or build up uh, here in this context? Well, first, of course, the introduction. And then Bitcoin in a free society uh, with the value of exchange and barter and indirect exchange and the benefits of Bitcoin and the Bitcoin unit, the shape of Bitcoin, a private minting or private coinage, the proper supply of Bitcoin, the problem of hodling, stabilizing the price level, and coexisting shitcoins, uh, uh, Bitcoin banks or, uh, don't, uh, not, or custodial wallets, uh, and a summary. Uh, then government meddling with Bitcoin, uh, the revenue of, gobbling, of, of governments, the, economic, the economical effects of inflation, the compulsory monopoly over the miners, the debasement, Gresham's law and coinage, with both, again, some talks about shitcoinery, and then legal tender, and a summary for governments and coinage. And permitting banks to refuse payment or blacklisting UTXOs and central banking, <laughs> central banking or in the removal on the checks of inflation. Central banking and, the directing, and directing the inflation, going off the Bitcoin standard, the fiat money and the gold problem, uh, fiat money and Gresham's law, and governments and Bitcoin, and the monetary breakdown of the West, which is a more historical piece. And uh, although it is really interesting, I don't think it lends itself uh, for this type of reading that I have planned uh, for, uh, for our Bitcoin analysis of what has government done to our money. Uh, so, Piers, tomorrow we will start with the introduction. Uh, so, get your reading in uh, and really... Uh, 
and uh, yeah, read this book in its entirety in the way that Rothbard has written it, uh, talking about gold and how this is affected in the free market. Uh, but we will absolutely uh, go really in depth in how the Rothbard has explained all the issues that no coiners and fudsters throw at Bitcoin in the current day. And so if you need good arguments on why hodling is good and why the price of Bitcoin does not matter, well, stay tuned because over the next couple of days, a Rothbard will tell you. Pierce, thank you for joining me here and I'm really looking forward to this on the next couple of shows here on the World Crypto Network on Bitcoin to the Max, which is a show supported by you, the peers uh, who check out the amazing TallyCoin website at tallyco.in slash Max. And for a small donation, you can get early access and a lot of what this, a lot of the recordings uh, that I'm doing uh, right now. Um, so if you want to have all the chapters available right now, uh, then go to tallyco.in slash Max. Peers, you're amazing and I'm really looking forward to this. See you on the next show. Bye-bye.